In my last tutorial on Windows 11, we talked about a new feature that will be coming out with the release of Windows 11 23 H2, which will be released sometime in the fourth quarter of this year, about a feature called Windows Spotlight, which is a way for Microsoft to change the background picture on your desktop. And I had mentioned yesterday that we don't control it Microsoft does. But since yesterday, I found out something else in this new feature that will be coming in the next release of Windows 11. Let me close down the settings to set it up. Once it's released, just watch yesterday's video. But once it's been installed, as it has been on my Insider Preview build of Windows 11, you'll find an icon at the bottom right-hand corner that new icon is labeled as learn more about this picture, which is the current display on your desktop. If you right click that icon, it pops up a description about the current image displayed on your desktop. You'll also notice that there are three other images that are being displayed. And what you can do this is the current one, the one in the upper left-hand corner of this pop-up that describes the scene. But you can choose any one of the others if you like them more. For instance, if I select the bottom left, it changes the display on my desktop to that picture. If I choose the top right one, there is that picture. And the last bottom right now gives me that one. So I do have some control of which images will be shown on my desktop until the next image comes along and Microsoft changes it to that next image. Some other things to point out when this is open. Not only can you change to any one of the other three images, but you can also select map it, see more photos, dramatic dams, or explore the Peak District. These searches all open up the web browser. Let me just show it to you. Map it. You can see it opens up a map and shows you where this is located. See more photos. More photos similar to the one that's currently being displayed. Dramatic dams. And the last item, explore the Peak District. From here, of course, you can also explore book flights, stays, car rental packages. So if you're really interested in the area, there's a lot of things you can do from that particular new feature. Keep that in mind. Once this is released, you might be interested. I'm happy using it right now. You now have this latest image that I selected displayed as your desktop background. And if you want to learn more about it, just do a right click on the icon that says learn more about this picture. Stay safe, stay secure. I hope that helps. Bye bye and thanks for watching.